All right, guys, we are back and these enclosures are pretty much done. Check it out. So the hinges have been reapplied with stronger silicone. This silicone is the one that doesn't have smell actually. And it is way, way stronger compared to the original, the ones that the other tanks are using. But by the way, that's my Arizona Blonde. And the original tanks, some of them, the ones that don't require repair, they are actually doing super fine. So yeah, it was just only a handful that I had to redo it and it's only these are uh, the five the one that I previously filmed and I'm gonna be rehousing the tarantulas back into these tanks But the thing is I'm only going to rehousing uh, three because the other two look at what happened to their tanks Look at the amount of mold that started to break out in the enclosure. So yeah, that is is disgusting and yeah they're actually not mold but mushroom spores but this is usually too much already because usually if let's say for example for example if let's say it's like a little bit like this right i'll just take a what do you call that i will use my where is that thing where is that thing i can't find it now oh yeah there it is i would use this whoa, 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 whoa. oh my goodness can you please yeah i would use this metal uh what do you call this metal chopstick yeah that's right and just stir up the substrate because this part is damp and that is what's causing this mold these mushroom spores to start to sprout but i'm going to be using this chopstick usually that's what i do i will stir it up mix it up with the dry substrate and it ends up doing fine so they don't really grow back if they do i'll stir it up again but for this one that is already too much so this is one and then this is the other one I'm not sure if I will take out everything. Maybe I will just take out this substrate and replace the one that's over here with new substrate. I don't know, we'll see. But today, we're only going to be rehousing three of those tarantulas. So that would be my Brazilian black, my skeleton tarantula, as well as the one up there, which is the Pamphobetius, wait, for Mictopus, Pamphobetius. Uh, uh, I'm still confused, <laughs> but yeah, that one. So yeah, without any further ado, I think let's try Try to rehouse the uh, Gramostola pole craft first. Hopefully, man, because as you can see, there is like a plastic wrapped all around just to hold it in place. So hopefully, that thing doesn't happen again because these hinges. Oh man, let's see, let's see, guys. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen again. If it does, then oh boy, that's not gonna be good. Cause I've got this wrapped up already for about a week, I would say. Yeah, about a week. Nothing gone in here, and just letting it cure for a week. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed that it doesn't happen again. If it does, then <sighs> what a time, man. Okay, so I've got the enclosure on the floor. Let's unwrap it. Oops, whoops, whoops. All right, now for the moment of truth. Come on, man, please, 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 please. Come on, this is the one that was. Damn it. Damn it, are you freaking kidding me? No, no, why? I hate this so much. But the thing is, the silicone is not actually coming out. It's just this that is, yep, as you can see, it is not being attached properly so yeah i'm gonna have to redo this whole thing again okay anyways let's try my skeleton tarantula hopefully this one will be fine okay the moment of truth if this one as well has the issue then this one is good sweet sweet i'm liking this all right that is awesome so the skeleton tarantula one is fine it's just the pull crow one so i guess the pull crow is not going to be able to be rehoused today let's put the skeleton in first because this one like i mentioned was the one that i was most worried about because that enclosure doesn't have deep substrate for her but she's been doing fine so i need my uh, this one because let me show you as you can see there are quite a few of those mushroom spores so basically as i was mentioning this is why i do i use this metal thing and i just stir it up something like this and once it is mixed up with the dry substrate 
they don't really grow back so if they do then i'll just stir it again as long as it's not as much as that one then i really don't really have anything to be scared about so yeah i mean even if it's like that much it doesn't harm the tarantula in any way it's just just not nice right it's just it doesn't look good so skeleton tarantulas require a little bit of moisture i know i just stirred up the uh molds a little bit but let's just give her a really really come on man there we go yeah kind of pathetic still but it's better than nothing <laughs> okay. all right uh -huh. whatever man better than nothing okay let's get the skeleton tarantula in first because that is the most important sorry pulkra yeah she is that's not a death curl by the way she is there we go she's doing okay right right you doing good? Yeah, yeah, she's doing fine. So, there we go. <laughs> doing super fine, but the skeleton tarantula, this one. Yeah, it's time for you to get back into your old enclosure, your permanent enclosure. And as you can see, she's doing well because, whoa, because she has pretty much webbed up this entire enclosure. And it, yeah, enclosure. So, yeah, let's get her in there. And then this one is going to need repairs again. <sighs> so annoying anyways where is my catch cup catch cup we need my catch cup okay so let's get her there we go good girl what are you doing come on come on yeah okay let me just stabby stabby i mean pushy pushy you good no you don't want to go in do you come on this is back to your old enclosure the enclosure that you enjoy come on there we go good girl Beautiful. Good girl. Okay, so you can go back straight into your burrow over there. Yeah, there we go. Go on. There we go. Who's a good girl? <laughs> and now I'm going to have to put back her. Look at how much of web she has done. That is crazy cool, man. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get this water dish filled back up and just plopped back over there. There we go. I've got the water dish nice and ready. Let's put it back at the corner there. And this girl's enclosure is complete. I really, really hope that this thing doesn't come out again. Fingers crossed, guys. Really, really hope not. But yeah, anyways, we have got one more torrential to rehouse. As I mentioned, we've got three. But then this one was being a little bit dodgy still. So I think the other one was my formictopus or pamphobia. I don't even know, man. And this one this male over here so let's go get that enclosure and fingers crossed that that one is fine all right so i've put the skeleton tarantulas enclosure where it belongs and now we've got this enclosure over here so let's see hopefully this one is fine now the moment of truth please please i beg you i beg you <gasps> yes 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 beautiful Beautiful. Okay, but the thing is this one is like touching the ground because usually they don't touch the ground, but that is fine. As long as it is not giving way, we are good to go. So yeah, let's put the, what you call that? This tarantula. Wait, no, not you, you. Let's put you in your old enclosure back and hopefully you'll do fine. There we go. All right, so same catch cup. Let's get this guy. Yes, it is a, whoa. Bolty, 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 bro. Bolty boy. We a bolty boy. Yeah, we bolty boy today. Now I'm gonna have to try to. Where is. Yeah, let's get you in. Come on, go. Bolt in. You like to bolt? Bolt in. Go. Go. Yeah, there we go. And you're gonna have to bolt out now. Go on. There we go. Go on. This is your old enclosure, your permanent enclosure, kind of. Why'd you have to be a male? But there you go. So, two down and. We are pretty much done with this video. Although, wait, 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 wait. I want to check the moldy ones and see if the doors are okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to change the substrate because look underneath. That is crazy, man. Although this does not harm the tarantula in any way, I still really, I don't like this at all. Please, door. Please work. I don't want you to. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Please, please. Yes. Yes. So, so far, only this one is the one that's being a dodgy enclosure. Let's try the last one. So the last one is over here. Ugh, I am begging you. 
I am begging you. Where's the place where I get the... Where is the... the uh, oh, there. Okay. Woohoo! Unboxing a Christmas present. Woohoo! Okay. Now the time has come to check if you are actually working. Yes. Freaking yes. So what is wrong with that one? What? what? Come on, man. Like four, wait, yeah, four, right? Yeah, four enclosures, this, 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 and that are doing perfectly fine. It's just that, like, why? I, I don't know, man, why? All right, sweet. Looks like that one's gonna need fixing again. So yeah, sorry, Polkra, you're gonna have to deal with it. So yeah, guys, anyways, that will be it for this. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I'll just get that tarantula back in this enclosure because why not this one doesn't actually look too bad let me see let me try to stir it up yeah it's not too bad actually so as you can see just needs a little bit of stirring up just some mixing with the dry substrate so it'll be fine yep it'll be fine it's because over here was the place where i overflowed the water dish so that is why the kind of mold or should i say mushroom spores decided to sprout out after stirring and you can see it is good to go and don't worry these things don't harm tarantulas because they're technically they're not even mold so yeah let's get the tarantula in here first and then we will end the video so this one was actually this guy's enclosure my what is this a phonopelma caniceps so this is the confirmed male my confirmed female is in the other enclosure so yeah catch cup don't be able to one don't be able to one i got ya i got ya okay no no come on this guy's a hair kicker my gosh hair kicker bro why you gonna kick hairs at me why you gonna kick hairs at me man come on dude freaking don't kick hairs at me go that way go go into the yeah i'm, I'm staying at a distance because don't trust this guy don't trust this guy one bit come on let's go back into your enclosure okay come on dude let's go Time to get in, time to get in, and yeah, that's good boy, that's a good boy, yes, okay, yeah, there we go. Hope you guys enjoy. I would have rehoused this tarantula back, but as you can see, that's not the case for today, so maybe in another video. I'll see you in the next video, take care, have a good one, stay safe, and yep, peace, and curse this enclosure, seriously man, seriously.